I was with the Trump motorcade yesterday, and I would say that the people at Versailles at the Cuban restaurant, I wouldn't call them cult members, would you? Uh, no. Well, folks, Sarah Palin's back. Yep, that's right, old sister Sarah, the, the pray for me so the witches don't get me Palin is back. And she's lecturing us on all things, of, of all things, on is MAGA a cult? She appeared on Newsmax and, and, and gave this response when they asked her, is MAGA a cult? Take, take a look. I was with the Trump motorcade yesterday and I would say that the people at Versailles at the Cuban restaurant, I wouldn't call them cult members, would you? Uh, no, you know, the definition of a cult is uh, a, a group of people who are um, excessively supporting one another and a cause all about conformity and compliance and intolerance of anyone who doesn't agree with what their mission is. Okay, that's the definition of what the left is engaged in right now, speaking of, of cults, um, <laughs> all about conformity and compliance and heaven forbid you don't agree with them. Yeah, and, you know, I, I've got a little bit better of a better answer than that. Let's, let's take a little trip down memory lane, folks. Let's just, let's just think about the way elections used to be. You know, we'd come to an election and everybody put a sign out, a little sign out in their yard. Yeah, maybe you'd put a, a big sign out in your yard if you were really enthusiastic. And then we'd have that election, you know, you might put a bumper sticker on your car, then the election would be over and then people would take those signs down. You know, they'd scrape that bumper sticker off their car and keep on keeping on. Well, not anymore. Not since the cult of MAGA. No, it, it's a year round ordeal all the time you know folks used to put american flags on the front of their house now they're hanging trump flags all the time and then it got worse than that folks they started plastering their houses i mean their their houses uh, you know there's just one up in youngstown pennsylvania and they, it's not just that one they're they're all over the country where people are now wrapping their houses with Trump branded flags and, and whatnot. And th this one house in Youngstown, Pennsylvania has a 15 foot effigy of Trump in spotlights. Yeah, I mean, that's a cult, folks. That's a cult. If you don't think that's a cult, here, take a look at Marjorie Trader Green with this effigy of Trump and see what she does here. There we go. There we go. He is, he's fantastic. This guy right here is great. He's standing up in there in the mucky swamp. Diane always has him in the, <laughs> the mucky swamp. Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah, that, that's right, folks. Yeah, you've got a sitting member of Congress fondling a cardboard cutout of her cult leader. Yeah, I mean, that's a cult, folks. That's a, and if that's not enough for you, they built a golden statue of him and put it on display at CPAC. If you don't know what CPAC is, it's, a, it's the Conservative Political Action Conference. It's the big Republican conservative get together every year. They put a golden Trump out there People were praying to it, taking pictures with it. You know what I mean? It, it, just, you know, just touching it. You know what I mean? Just, it, it's, it's a cult, folks. It's a cult. You know, your crazy uncle went out and bought $100 cartoons, digital cartoons of Trump. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. 100 bucks. They went out and bought Trump bucks. Have you ever heard of Biden bucks? No, no, we don't do that. We're not in a cult. There are people that went out and bought fake Trump money. I'm not kidding. And it gets worse than that. You need to keep an eye on your crazy uncle, your crazy pop. We've all got one in the family. We all do. You know, you got people that put second mortgages on their houses. Yeah. Ended up getting divorced and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that really happened, folks. It's a cult. 
And then the rallies. These aren't stump speeches. You know, we used to have, you know, election time, politicians, we'd have to see them then. They'd come out and they'd do, they would do speeches then. Oh, no, this cult does them year round, every year, election or not. And what's crazy is, to show you how insane this cult is, these people travel around to the, to the rallies. It's like the same people showing up at all the, to hear the same stupid speeches. You know, that's a cult, folks. That is a cult. It's why they can't understand they lost. It's why they were susceptible to their cult leader telling them to go desecrate our capital and try to overturn the results of an election. They were offered zero proof that, they, that, that anything was wrong with. They just lost. They were just lost, but they were told by their cult leader that it was stolen from them, so they desecrated their own capital and tried to overthrow their own democracy. And he gave them no proof, none whatsoever. And they did it anyways. That's a cult. That's a cult. And it's getting worse and worse and worse, folks. It's not getting better. You know, it started out with somebody hung, hanging a Trump flag on the front of their house. Now they're desecrating flags. Now they're hanging the American flag upside down and desecrating our American flag. And, and it's, it, you know, folks, where does it end? You know, people make a joke. They, they make a joke about the People's Temple and Jim Jones and how much MAGA is like them. The People's Temple, if you don't know, that was Jim Jones's cult. And, you know, those people got together and they mixed up a bunch of poison Kool-Aid and they drank it and died for Jim Jones. And, and the joke is that the only difference between the MAGA cult and the Jim Jones cult is Trump would have branded the Kool-Aid and sold it to him for eight bucks to pop. I tell you, folks, it, it's getting it's getting bad. You know, Caribou Barbie here, <laughs> you know, in her response, she just perfectly describes MAGA. Watch out for your people. Watch out for your people. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. One of the things you can do about it, show your people these videos. Hit the subscribe button so that you can see them when they come out. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't tangle you up in any way. Just hit the subscribe button. It'll let you know when a new video comes out when you log on to, to, to this platform. You hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button. It'll, it'll, it'll get this ver video circulated around. And if you really want to help out, you're about to be, see a commercial from the Midas Touch Network. Folks, the Midas Touch Network is working their butts off. They are the fastest growing independent news source in the country. And they are working their butts off to make sure that your crazy people that are involved in these cults actually have information coming back at them. They're not allowed to just stay in their bubble. We get this information out to people like no one else. So if you can support us, great. I love you folks. This is old Texas Paul out. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.